wa me se abe pe me na inti me na me nya ahun se pe ayi wo yi wo yi wa me today is monday january 23rd i am i'm here i'm present uh, as much as i can be right now i feel like i'm extremely challenged to my core right now my mind just kind of feels like bleh i talk to my parents about it i mean it's what i usually do eventually when i get tired of the isolating and that was nice <coughs> bless me uh, my mom told me that I should make a bone broth, so of course I'm going to do that. But I can use all the help I can get. I just feel dense right now. I feel extremely dense. <sighs> and I've been feeling like this for like the past two weeks, I would say. It's been extremely hard in ways that words can't even imagine. Um, basic things like even doing like my hygiene routine. Those, the basics is is very trying to me at this point and i really don't know why i go through this i can't really say it's for a bigger purpose or this or that i don't really like i deal with mental health issues um and i know that that's a part of my journey it's just hard right now and i'm going through a hard period a hard place um I wish I had more community, like genuine community that actually cared about my well-being and like cared about me holistically outside of just a good time that I can provide. I'm just sad and also I feel nothing like a void and that goes into a whole nother conversation about like stimulation seeking and there's plenty of things I could be doing but who knows um, so that's where I am today just for transparency sake, for documentation sake, just, you know, being, letting it all hang out. Uh, I feel like shit. And I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna, I can't do anything besides build it up. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know today. <sighs> I'm always grateful. I'm thankful for what I do have, what I am able to do. <sighs> I'm grateful for how much, how far I've came to show me that I can overcome this. Even when it feels like I'm in the thick of something that will take me out, <laughs> I know it won't. No matter how uncomfortable it feels right now, how much I may be screaming for help, it's really nothing anyone can do for me besides like hold space and like love me and I am loved, I am cared for and 
that's it's okay like it's okay i am okay i'm fine the intrusive thoughts are intrusive um I'm stuck between wanting to do everything and feeling so debilitated by my current mental state that I don't want to do anything. Uh, just overwhelmed in a whole different way. I can't attribute this to anything explicitly. Um, it's, it's just something I have to fill out. It's not really that big of a deal but right now it feels like the end and there I know it's not so you know there's that so today is Wednesday January <coughs> 25th um, and yeah, the last time I made a video, I was in distress and I just told myself like, look, I am going to just do things that I need to do because I have to do something to attempt to try to make myself feel better and I am okay. Yeah, yesterday was a pretty chill day. Uh, I've just been taking it easy, doing what I can, journaling, editing, kind of small thing, small. I've been doing other things besides the clothes. Uh, so now it's just like time to come full circle again and finish them. So I can move on to the next thing that my heart desires. Censorship. Uh, I, I'm just feeling so silly, goofy right now. Forever silly, forever goofy. Hello. Today is Thursday, January twenty sixth. Um, and today's a chill day. I have been finding my way back to movement. So for the past couple days, I've been doing like some type of like engagement and just to get the blood flowing stretching because my body just i feel like i flow through my day better so yeah here i am one of the biggest things that okay so let's just get into it you know i'm gonna i'm going into the journal to pull out little tidbits of things that i feel like i wanted to share with you guys I pray for me. I pray for my loved ones. I release all the resentment that I'm holding inside of myself, all the guilt festering, and all the blame I've internalized. I am indeed not crazy or unreasonable. There is trauma and there is neurodivergence. In accommodating my neurodivergence, I give myself the ability to recognize how to process my trauma and heal. Bring yourself down from fight or flight 
and into awareness and presence with self. Fight or flight can lead to large amounts of tension being held in the body. Um, okay, so remember how I told y'all I was working on my self-portraits that I was use I was putting on a couple pieces? Well, Jawai was like, oh, okay, you did so good. But how about we try this? <laughs> and so he basically went over this one to shape it up a little better. And now I'm using that as a guide to do this one. Let's do a few more of these. You should feel a really nice opening through your shoulders as you press back into your Cause on a night like this, from it's cold.